to kind of get adjusted to that, but still wonderful showing for the course of the weekend. And we're going to have to dip over into Winterside to find mm -hmm. out who these wonderful players are going to play coming up. So I don't know exactly the order, but if I can give you a quick rundown of Winterside, we got Anthony is in cool going up against Danny. Little wolf cloud action, right, most likely, right? right? Good it's a classic Smash games. Ultimate, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly, you know, that's just right. <laughs> that's just right there in the A tier, upper part of A tier. Mm -hmm. People are like, that's Smash Ultimate right there. Right, right. And then we got another one that is Isaiah coming in off of that run that we've seen throughout the weekend. Going got up the doorstop W. Exactly, yeah. Game five. Going up against Dro with the Yoshi, who we saw do some crazy things in doubles and in singles earlier. Going to uh, game four, Nailbiter, if you could say that, against mm. Wolfie in the winner side of things. So it's shaping up to be a Midwest showcase and I'm excited to see all of these matches. Because as I said, these are all names that we're familiar with, but not necessarily in that order. A lot of, Not a lot of history between some of these mm -hmm. sets. So I'm excited to see the dynamics, see how those play styles meld. Because, you know, they may all be some Midwest names, but, you know, you talk to the people in Midwest, and they're like, oh, no, that person's from Michigan. It's like, no, this no, guy's like, <laughs> <laughs> don't. I don't want to get started on, like, the what is and what isn't Midwest right, debate. Right, right. Especially because some people in Colorado think that they're Midwest. That's too far. That's like 30% of people in Colorado That's or West, something like that. It's like, no. that is like, if you take the term literally, yeah. <laughs> if you take the term literally, the middle of the West, right, right. then maybe. But that's not what Midwest means. Well, when we're uh, here at Full Bloom, we're talking about the middle of the country. Right. Really. Right. I mean, realistically. Yeah. And no, we're not talking about the plains either. No, no, no. We're not talking about the plains. We're talking about the Midwest. Some people will say that Indiana's not Midwest. I disagree. That's I disagree fair. with fair. that. Some people will yeah. say Cleveland and Ohio, like that's not Midwest. I also disagree. That's the middle middlest of Wests. I, I think I could possibly imagine, but some people say that Pennsylvania is Midwest. I hard disagree. No, it's like <laughs> it's almost touching the water. I <laughs> there are people in Philadelphia who say that they're Midwest, and I'm like, no, no, you are Wait, on the Atlantic that's, Ocean. That's funny because there are people in Philly who say they're tri-state. I guess the state is just that it's, wide. It's but like, definitely <laughs> it's definitely a lot closer to being yeah, tri-state yeah, than yeah. anything. But you can't you can't, guys, Philly. If anybody from Philly is watching, we need to have a talk because if you're one of the people from Philly that thinks you're from Midwest, you're touching the Atlantic Ocean. Now, There's nothing west about that. Pittsburgh. That's as far east as you can get. Pittsburgh might be Midwest. It's still not Midwest. All right. It's still it's still the east. That's still sure. close to tri-state. I get the I get the idea that you're touching a state that is in the Midwest sort of, mm -hmm. but it's not look, I just don't I don't want to have the conversation. Right, right. But we have to do tough things sometimes. That's fair. That's sometimes fair. you have to give people tough love and tell them that the assumptions that you were laboring under for most of your life, you, you no longer are allowed to. It's time to become it's an adult. A lot of responsibility, Mo. It's I don't time. Know. I don't want to say it's time to grow up, but it's time to take it from two people whose brains are now fully developed. <laughs> okay, we're I'll, old enough to say that. I can't argue with that. <laughs> as far as I know, it's all up there. But we got... That match that I mentioned earlier, the top side of winners, Anthony isn't cool, and Danny stepping up to the stage. And I watched some gameplay from them earlier, and their brains also may just be fully developed as well. I, were, for, uh, competitively, yeah. yes, yeah, yeah. Competitively, <laughs> I will agree. <laughs> you know, we, we talked about the the one side of the winners bracket, the the Yoshi versus the Pac Man, right, and right. like that Smash Ultimate. It's a different side of Smash Ultimate. That's like the online side of right, Smash right. Ultimate, right? That's that's I'm on Elite Smash, and I'm like. <laughs> okay, right, okay, yeah. And on this, this is offline Smash yes, Ultimate. Like, yeah, if you yeah. go to tournaments, this is what Smash Ultimate is to you. It's right. Wolf and Cloud yep. everywhere, and now you get to see two extremely talented players of those characters mm -hmm. go head-to-head. -head. Yeah, 26, a rising zone. Anthony mm -hmm. is not cool, or isn't cool. Heretofore be referred to as, as Anthony. Anthony. Yeah, I've said that <laughs> pretty much every block I sit down. Or I, I, first, first time I sit down, Anthony isn't cool. Heretofore, Anthony. Yeah. Uh, wonderful stuff on the cloud throughout the, the weekend. I have definitely seen some pretty interesting options, some pretty ambitious options as well that all seem to work out because there's just this like confidence behind a lot of the play that I love to see. Mm -hmm. However, Danny, I think, you know, respectfully, he's got something to prove over the weekend. Some people were going back and forth about, you know, Danny should have been seated higher or, you know, already seated pretty high, but I'm saying even higher. And then getting that first seed, maybe yeah. we'll see if Danny can hold on to it throughout the rest of, well, what is left of winner's side. 
Underseeded is the word that many people used for Danny, right. and then just went to go claim that first seed. Yes, he yes. said, just, you know what, that belongs to me. Uh, give me that. Yeah. <laughs> give me that. <laughs> so <laughs> Looking at the TOs, drop it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> drop, leave it. Oh, are they cutting? Uh, I think we're getting escorted off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> but so be like, no, they have yeah. to play. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's going to be a good one, though. Definitely some good old-fashioned Smash Brothers. Uh, two characters I love to watch. Both Look, on the screen a, together. A spacey versus a sortie. Right. What else do you yeah. want when you watch Smash Brothers? <laughs> there is just a, an anthropomorphized animal that has a gun and yep. really strong legs. And then there's an anime dude with a big sword. Right, right. That's what I think of when I think of Smash Brothers. Yeah, <laughs> what, like 30 years of that, you know? <laughs> so we got a, okay, big mix up here. It's actually going to be Danny on the left side. And wow. Anthony isn't cool on the right side. So that's going to be. Pretty interesting, I think. <laughs> One of those chairs does look more comfortable. We're gonna see how that plays into the match here. <laughs> this one had less padding, and it's like, oh, I'm actually I'm supposed yeah. to be a player one right, though. Really actually, like, that's then, actually like, that's actually where I'm supposed to sit. <laughs> but then, Sorry. then you sit down. You can't be like, oh, now he's like he got me. Like, <laughs> can, we do, can we run the it back? FTC, like, not yeah. just like the yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just the <laughs> RPS for chair. You sit like, down on it, and you're like, oh, this thing's Spirit Airlines. Yeah. <laughs> just like, okay, yeah. So they are I, I know a lot of you are young out there and <laughs> may not have done a lot of air travel, by the way. Trust me, it, it, the, the savings on Spirit are not worth it. But what is worth it is to stick around for this match, AG. Yes. Danny and Anthony isn't cool. <laughs> Here to four to be referred to as Anthony. Danny and Anthony, two names fighting up against each other. And where else would we start with Pokemon Stadium 2? Of course. So we got Danny not wearing the 26R uniform, but does still, still have the tag. So. Mm -hmm. Bit of a, you know, some team bit. Oh, there it is. Thank you. All right. <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Good old-fashioned neutral here. The limit charge is going to kind of force the issue, but that wolf laser is also going to be really good about making sure Anthony doesn't get away with a lot of limit charge for free. Big mm -hmm. opportunity here with the dash attack, but oh, those cloud aerials, Ooh. something you have to deal with, unfortunately. Stack it up. Nice no. recovery from Danny. Definitely mixed up Anthony. I didn't think he was going to make it on that platform either, right. but... A really good recognition. I feel like what we've already seen from Danny, and of course what we've seen from the whole weekend, is that Danny's really good at those like in-the-moment recognitions. Right. Stuff like hit confirms, stuff like his positioning at any moment, and then saying, okay, actually I can go to this platform. I'll eat a minimal punish instead of getting ledge trapped. But decision-making in advance, trying to get up close to that cloud, got that jump red. Anthony getting out to the lead in game one. Yeah, definitely a lot of it jumping in because it has been generally successful, but finally getting called out. Anthony going to try and run away with here. A little bit of a lead, but some good damage here from the climb hazard as well. Get up attack was so big of a gamble, though. Yep. Mm -hmm. but yeah, great fight. spacing. Love that from Danny. I mean, that whole sequence was great, even after getting hit by that climb hazard, trying to go for the ledge trap the first time. Was really, really prescient on saying, okay, I'm going to throw out this A landing with this aerial to make sure that I'm actionable as quickly as possible. I don't get stuck into any recovery frames from something like a tech. And then immediately got right back on that horse. And the, the ledge trapping, honestly, is going to be one of the most important things in this matchup. And calling out that air dodge to the ledge, because I know you want to maintain that limit. Now, Anthony, on the other hand, holding on to that limit, also really important. And using that limit cross the, the, the blade beam. <laughs> yeah, it's so tense. It is a big scramble right now. The limit goes away. The climb hazard adds on some damage. Anthony swinging for the fences right now. They're going back to neutral, but there it is. Another landing punish with another phenomenal up smash from Anthony. It's really easy to get caught in the trap as a wolf player of doing a lot of jumps, trying to open up your opponent because Wolf is, I mean, just as maneuverable in the air as he is on the ground, more or less, right? Got that great air drift. That's where a lot of his great combo starters come from as well. But, man, Anthony has really been calling that out and on the jungle as well. You know Cloud's great there, but a bit of a preemptive side B burns that limit, gives Danny a chance to get back into this one. But, again, overcommit there at the ledge. Drop the ledge trap. Really important to keep those online, but with the call out, one stock apiece here in game number one. Really good timing on that pressure, too, from Danny. The up tilt kind of mixed up Anthony. Danny now kind of getting hit by that forward air when you, you don't really want to do that, but that third up smash is not going to land, thankfully. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was kind of in another zip code, right. <laughs> to be honest. And you know what? Like, Wolf's got the air drift. He could probably get over there. Ooh. Tried to call out, going to the platform right there. Didn't get that final hit, though. A little bit of extra damage from that climb hazard. Both of these players nearing kill percents. Right, that back throw is going to set up for a pretty treacherous spot for Anthony. The early climb hazard was so smart, the hitbox 
saving Anthony as well. Danny trying to find something, but not going too crazy with it. The dash attack, mm. though, beating out the very first couple of frames of that back air. Had the right idea, but just a little missed time. Might have done that fast fall a little bit too early on that back air as well, right? And just not getting the, uh, the auto cancel on that. So going into some ending lag, dash attack can just beat that out, as you were mentioning. So, I mean, just a lot of anti-air in that game from yeah, Anthony yeah. that really was the defining factor in that game one. Obviously, that's what took the stocks pretty directly all three times, but also where a lot of those combos got started. Because, I mean, these days, how often do you see three up airs in a row from Cloud? Right. right. It's not exactly, you know, what they're up to nowadays, but you Get still see it once in a while. Right, know? right, right. That's a good way to put it. But still really good anti-airs as well. And even just kind of punishing the landings, not necessarily fighting the air to air, but punishing Wolf on the way down, still very effective. Okay, though, Danny, just some big damage right out of the gate. Wolf can definitely do this, and you're going to have to burn that limit. And Danny, making up some space, tried to actually call out that spot dodge, but didn't wait long enough to throw out that down smash, because most people would just try to immediately throw out a meaty hitbox. That shield goes up, and then they can be punished. Danny trying to punish hard on Anthony as well. Definitely, again, the big damage. The question with Wolf sometimes, though, is can you get those confirms? Yeah, it's tough. It's kind of tough right now. Danny definitely bringing it to the goal line, but not exactly scoring really big damage, but not able to find those big hits quite yet. Looking for him with that down smash, maybe a back air as well, but it's gonna be Anthony getting the limit. Blade being a little early, good stuff from Danny to get around that. Oh, I love that. Yeah, just throwing out that high nair, right? Uh, getting it out preemptively, right? So that, again, you can't just call me out for doing that nair, predict my jump, right? It's already out there. You're gonna have to react with something else, probably something defensively. Still, both of these players looking for that first stock. Just the lingering nair might be enough, and it is, but it's the second lingering nair that doesn't. <laughs> yeah, not enough limit to really go for the charge there either. Really good stuff. With that extended edge guard, Danny kind of gets to a little bit of an early lead, and this damage is adding Ooh. up so fast, Mona. I don't know if Anthony can make anything happen right now. The back here definitely would have been dangerous, but it's going to be the down throw into probably a forward tilt. Ooh. Really, actually, that down smash was so perfectly spaced. I don't know if there was a true punish for Anthony there. Nonetheless, does clean up that stock. Danny is going to get to play with the lead here, but with that limit, things can climb up really quickly. We've seen these percents go up. Danny playing some really excellent defense, takes a lick in, but is able to keep on ticking. Really good movement from Anthony right there. That dash back avoided the grab instead of for a Ooh. pretty treacherous spot right now. That back here is going to set up for more and more damage right now. Looking for a jump in or possibly a roll, but not giving it up. Danny has been really implementing some good adaptations in terms of defense right now. Mm -hmm. Even that offense is a lot more measured, right? The spacing has gotten better as this game has gone on. Hasn't just been those send it full hop in aerials because you see a lot of these up smashes from Anthony, they were hitting in that last game. Now they're starting to whiff. We even saw that near the end of that last one. But again, big problem for Danny, even though building up that damage and just kind of shuffling the shield yeah. as well, nodding, right? 151% has not been able to find those confirms. And this is one of the things that Wolf struggles with is having reliable confirms that your opponent is, you know, not really going to be able to react to. Right, right. You can hit a wild edge guard with down smash and, you know, take the stock very early or you end up waiting to maybe hit an F kill at 150. But, oh, that dash attack finally getting punished with the up smash, though. Very good stuff from Danny. Again, that defensive patience finally paying off. The shield, though, so small. Maybe uh, maybe that defensive patience needs to turn into some offense right now. I love that. That was so sick. I love any combo with Wolf that sets up for a platform tech chase or anything like that because it can be a little precise. It can be tough to find. Meanwhile, Anthony sticking with that clean, smooth game plan. Put the wolf in the corner, mix up the timing of throwing out that sword, and then cleave right through him to send it to the last stock. So very smart. And the patience through the aerial timing, the timing on the chill, all that. The small, small little interactions matter so very much. Okay, just the sour dare to get back down to the ground. Love to see that. Limit is going to run out a little bit soon, so Danny wants to keep up that pressure, keep that combo going. Down air does get Anthony down, but did not expect Danny to read that movement in, and Danny fired up for that game number two. I heard the yes come out before the sparks even showed up. Danny was, <laughs> in fact, fired up to hit that, and that was really good because we kind of saw the opposite for most of game one, a little bit of game two as well, where Anthony was kind of approaching and I'm sorry, Anthony was punishing, Danny approaching. And that was a huge reversal. That was the first time we saw Anthony get kind of get beat up for trying to go in with maybe like a dash attack or something. So good stuff from Danny, really changing up the pace. 
As we mentioned, the defensive options are better, and the offensive options have been wonderful too. So we're going into game three. See how Anthony changes it up. We're already seeing some more limit charge, which was kind of good in game one. Hey, I, I gotta say, gameplay aside, um, Danny, Danny looks like he hates Anthony right now. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looks legitimately just so angry. Now, you know, some of the combos I'm seeing it, but like you look at those player cams, like he's straight up not having a good time. Oh, like. uh, unfortunately, <laughs> the way brackets work, you know, Danny can't really be friends with Anthony right now. Trying to move on to winners finals, and Anthony is making it difficult right now too. So I understand that frustration. Just gotta yeah, keep that right blood now. pressure low. I know right. you're a young man, but like it, it worries it worries us, Stop right? Saying, yeah. like, we're like that could be deathly for somebody <laughs> like me. Already going through one of the limit bars without really, you know, utilizing it for a move. Just kind of appreciating those increased stats as well. Barely even right now. Gonna take it slow with some limit charge and some lasers as well. Nice. Okay. I, I love that. I love seeing a little bit of a scramble where the players are compensating with it for their it, for it with their movement. Right. I'm not compensating for anything with my words right now, but yeah, compensating for that scramble with their movement, right? And being like, no, I'm not going to throw out something that can get me punished. I'm just going to try to get myself in a good position so that I don't end up having anything silly happen to me. And speaking of which, a little bit silly to go out with that nair, but Danny nonetheless is going to be able to clean this up. Another one of those sour nairs, just get the twinkle toes to send the cloud into the blast zone, but just to jump up with a nair, man, the tensions are rising yes, in this room. What the people heck? People are... <laughs> either excited or dismayed depending on how the stocks are flying but it is a dead even right now in game three two stocks apiece to limit charge again for the issue but danny with a great opening yeah danny uh, like noticing so many situations where okay i know how you're going to react to this and instead of going for you know the traditional combo route i'm actually going to get a reset on my combo i got that first forward air could go into something like the up air but i know you're going to drop down through this platform escape to the ground put up that shield right. so i'll throw out another forward air and then i'll get my up airs exactly. afterwards now we're seeing a lot of climb hazards come out though. It's some good get off me tools. Anthony getting a lot of damage from them as well. 54 after the cross flash. And I love that. Cover the roll in. Some more big damage and some good limit charge here as well. Oh, up tilt was so smart. Danny kind of struggling to get off that platform for a minute, but Anthony didn't really like pressure it. Stayed in shield and just kind of waited for Danny to land on the ground. Does have to burn up that limit, but stocks run him right back to even. And he's just going to slow it down a little bit. It actually calls out the stop on that side B, even though the last couple of times we've seen those cross slashes kind of go all the way through. So Danny with some good reads. Anthony, though, has one on the movement with that up smash. But in return, he gets to eat one from Danny just scooping you up. Right, there's another dash attack, though. Punish the landing, which we've seen Anthony do so very often, too. Danny, though, has been mixing it up, making it a little more difficult. It's going to be tough, though. 118%. You can't really make too many missteps against Cloud. The back air force is something you have to watch out for as well. Haven't oh. seen a ton of just, like, throw out those back airs as pressure against the ledge. And Danny's been able to scoop and squeeze around it. Let's get tossed up into the air, but able to reset the situation. Little tech chase. Didn't get oh. the tech in, so Anthony does know. Don't ever tech in against the Wolf. But regardless, holding forward quite a bit, and there has been a lot of percent built up in a very short amount of time. Right. Anthony has just been trying to find something, make something happen. It's not really working out. Danny's been waiting and then punishing accordingly. So many dash attacks have hit Danny's shield. It's finally going to be that up air to give Anthony some time to charge that limit and set up a plan for this last stock, but 100% on the dot is such a tough spot to get started from. Ooh, up throw to start up those juggles where actually Anthony has been really good at keeping the Wolf in disadvantage. Although dropping it right there, Danny using that air drift to his advantage. Here come those juggles, limit Ooh. gone, but Anthony continues to pile on the damage. Numbers are going up like it's Dragon Ball. It felt like it, the stock just started and it's going to be 80 something after the throw. The back air sets up for the edge guard. We already have half a limit bar as well. The trump was so smart. Good stuff from Danny to get out of there. Yeah, really great reaction. And now Danny getting the ledge trap, throws out the crab too early. No more active frames. Anthony able to escape from the situation. Jetpack out, but 133%. Wow. Stray hits can do it. And Danny letting the world hear his voice. Throwing out that up smash that also happens to be a down and forward smash right, all at the same right. time. Some wonderful coverage and beautiful presence of mind from Danny. Almost on reaction, getting pumped up for this next game and playing like a totally different player from some of the earlier games that we saw even earlier today. And I mean that with all the love in the world, already playing phenomenally, but this set has been spectacular. 
Definitely a high intensity, at least from one side. You know, Anthony, you know, the tag says Anthony isn't cool, but Anthony's been playing it cool, <laughs> right? Like, he's just been, cool, <laughs> Denny's been the one that's actually been, like, heated up, and right. Anthony's been, like, so game four, right? Yeah, like, yeah. back to PS2, like, what do you yeah. what do you is that yeah. cool with you? <laughs> Really good pressure right there, falling a little short of the grab, and this is such a big punish too. The second place turns into another grab into the forward air. Oh, Danny has been finding these combo threads wherever they lie, and there goes that limit already. Yeah, I think that Anthony may have been looking to just like turn around and get that quick limit plate beam out before it ran out, but Ooh. a couple of times we've seen that limit run out, not able to close out the edge guard and throwing out those back airs at predictable timing, so Danny able to use that to his advantage, escape from the ledge, and I feel like the ledge trapping definitely has been advantage Wolf, which again, you expect this to be where Cloud's bread and butter works, but Anthony's been committing to a lot of things big time. Right, exactly. That's really what we saw last time too. So many dash attacks ended up hitting the shield, so many up smashes now are not finding the mark. Anthony is going to have to play it a little cooler, you know, no pun intended, to try and find a nice safe hit to take the stock and maybe just in the future not give Danny so many openings. Right now the dash attack already some good openings to get it something started, but they're just kind of scrambling right now trying to play it safe. Ooh, nice, nothing fancy off of that parry, knowing just how safe that forwarder is to just go with something quick. Danny getting the cloud off stage. Good recovery there from Anthony, not able to turn things around. Both of these players kind of struggling to just keep that long advantage state going, but those straight hits, again, Danny, I, I mean, compared to those first couple of games, right, having a much easier time finding those stocks, and look Ooh. at that damage rack up. That's classic Wolf. You are not joking. 56 after that. Got every tech option right as well. Keeping it going, too. Oh, I love that. The jump to do the air to air with the neutral air as well. Mm -hmm. We have the limit, but at 149, you're going to want to take the stock. I guess one, down air is one way to do it. And then hopefully get some way to utilize the limit here. Blade beam, good way to tack on some damage. A little free 20 ish. Cross slash does mix up and then dashing back, reading that escape from the corner that we've seen so many times from Danny, which is just that full drift in. And we do see it again. Throw out an aerial to try to cover that advance, but Cloud has a lot of tools to stuff that kind of approach. So, Anthony, that ledge trap really starting to pick up steam. Right. Danny saw so much mileage off of playing reactive and stuffing Anthony's approach. And now all these approaches are getting Danny beat up. Finally, though, the forward air is a good way to get it started. But Anthony somehow finds a reversal. Blade Beam catches the get up and takes the stock. Danny on the last one for this game. Not exactly what we expected when we saw how the first stock went. But Anthony is playing pretty phenomenally right now. Limit is going to have to be spent to get back to ledge. And Danny goes for a big swing. Danny is trying to hold on to center stage, forward tilt there. Anthony did a good job to hold on to that jump. Danny not able to close out the stock. Nice little reset right there, but a great air dodge. Man, I mean, Anthony just hanging on by a sliver and a thread, but is able to even get oh. some extra credit on. Couldn't even close out this game the way this momentum's going. All right, dash attack though. Let's the Danny fans know we still got some game left, some room to breathe for Danny, but not too much. Anthony already coming down, doing that up throw that you had shouted out earlier. So good for that vertical pressure and the shield pressure too. Has to be perfect from Danny or those climb hazards are going to come out more and more. Yeah, you really just can't throw out those free aerials as Wolf right now, because they are, you know, not super duper punishable, but they're punishable enough. And just like you're calling it out, right? If you're throwing out those aerials, Anthony can always just throw out that climb hazard. The cloud off stage, things could get frisky. Forward air, damage, climbing. Staff, get ready to hand out those earplugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the back air, it's gonna be rough. We have a little bit of limit left as well. Blade being the wrong, wrong way. Wrong way. Oh, and Anthony, a little hectic right now. The dash attack, too, but the back air will definitely do it from center stage. Danny, still pretty jovial, despite a very different result in the last couple games. But we are going to game five, and Anthony looks so composed. We will go into game number five with Anthony trying to live up to that slogan as well. Keep rising, right? Even if you got those two straight games, I'm going to keep climbing up those ranks. And... Look, we started off with a couple of 3-0s. Now we finally get a game five. It's back and forth. The tensions are high. The crowd is into it as well. Now right. we will get to see what happens as the entire set gets played out on Pokemon Stadium 2. <laughs> yep. You know, some things stay the same no matter where you go. <laughs> but it's going to be Pokemon Stadium. And people Stadium. who are trying very hard want to play on Pokemon Stadium 2. Right. right. 
so we see that limit charge again anthony got some very good mileage from it in the games anthony did win kind of just holding back making danny approach and then punishing said approach so already a good adaptation as well getting just about a bar and then after some good couple of hits gets Ooh. the limit charge Ooh, good escapes by danny like picking generally some pretty good times to realize like okay i'm probably not in a good position to get my offense started so i just need to just get out of there right create some space does find a reversal right there though into some damage i love anthony trying to go for the reset nearly gets him killed but both of these players just throwing out some hitboxes that are bailing them out of some sticky situations yeah even that down smash almost found the mark but we got anthony with another limit charge already oh my goodness oh cross slash I love the idea, but Danny with a really good route to get around it. I mean, uh, just double jumping, I mean, almost immediately every single time. Like, you can tell that he is, whether it's fear or respect, those two things can be interchangeable sometimes, <laughs> right? But either way, it was, I don't want to get hit by any limit. We was get me the hell out of this corner. Exactly. Already the dash attacks are coming out from Anthony as well. But somehow jumps over and gets the back air, and the wolf mm. flash falls. Just a little short crowd waking up a little bit as well as we hear yet another limit charge for Anthony. Bing! <laughs> Sounds like I just bought something from the vending machine. I was going to say, yeah, like <laughs> I walked in a convenience store or something. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, a little bit too oh, cool. early to try to punish that. Danny maybe could have looked for an up tilt or something there at the very end of it, but his active frames are tough to get right on top of, and Anthony building on a ton of extra credit right now. Oh, my Read goodness. that jump in, too, but let it fly a little bit too early. So Anthony down to that second stock, Danny finding that turnaround, but we need to see one of those classic gigantic wolf starters. Yeah, unfortunately though, like if Danny has to force the issue and is imperfect with the aggression, Anthony does have the climb hazard, but right now the timing mm. is perfect. Danny 72 and climbing, Anthony finally making it back down to center. Spacing on all of those aerials was so oh. immaculate. Not letting Cloud get an opportunity, down smash. I said we needed a starter for Wolf, but Denny also had the finisher ready. Up smash on the backswing. Pele not gonna do you anything right there. And Danny does at least get a little extra credit on the board, but we go to last stock, game five, and the crowd coming alive. Just about a full bar of limit as well. Good stuff from Anthony, of course, charging at 99%. That first back air that hits will finish the job. Oh, actually, it's going to be a forward air from Wolf. Danny, again, with some good timing right there, but those are the up airs that we have to worry about. Big forward air, but Anthony goes right down to center, tries to keep up that pressure as well, but they are swinging right now. And Danny, again, just kind of wants nothing to do with running right out of Cloud that's facing him. Limit does run out again. Damage on the tech chase. Didn't get anything on the platform, but again, resetting these juggles from Danny. These last couple of stocks have been phenomenal. They have the climb hazard, doesn't find the mark, and that is such a big gamble. All of a sudden, Danny has a big opportunity, but misses that forward air, keeping the pressure up right now. Cross Slash going to stop it a little bit early. Big dash attack. Oh. Up B, it's high, but does cover the advance right back down to the ledge. Danny not able to finish it out on that ledge trap. Here comes Limit. You better watch out coming back onto the stage. No way. With the finishing touch, gambling it all on a move that may not have even killed. Anthony's still able to stay alive, tossing out a getup attack for maybe the first time this set. Oh, and what a read. Almost had it, but misses barely the back air. Going to knock Danny off, makes it back to the ledge, but the back airs are so dangerous right now. The up smash doesn't find the mark. Anthony on the back foot. Had the double jump with the forward tilt right there. And Danny coming out of the chair with the echolocation, finishing out that game five set. Three to two just at the very end couldn't keep the composure together anthony with a couple of flubs that led to the end of the set and you knew danny was gonna let us know how he felt about it right right there was some ambition that i think you have to appreciate from anthony the finishing touch would have been sick if it hit it would have been lot pretty of moves, sick like the up smash reads that we saw would have been phenomenal but they just were just a little short or a little mistimed all the right ideas too but as i mentioned the timing was so very important danny mixing up the timing on the offensive options, like waiting just a little bit before throwing out those forward airs on the way down, the follow-ups as well, to kind of give Anthony an opportunity to try and break up the combo, but then punish that option instead. Mm. All fantastic adaptations, and what a fantastic set, too, for just winner semis. So that's Danny going on to winner's finals. Can we play another? <laughs>